SnowX is a five-year NASA airborne campaign to work towards a future snow satellite mission and we need to find out what sorts of remote sensing techniques will work best for different kinds of snow. The only way to find that out is to actually take a bunch of different types of sensors, put them on an airplane, fly them out in the field in, under real snow conditions, and that's exactly what we're doing. The P3, it's an old military plane. The military planes are loud and vibrate and they're cold. Think of a commercial airplane. Take all the insides out. What you have there, what every plane will have, it's what's called seat rails. We use these. We build our instrument, what we call data racks. That's how we control the instrument. We will build our racks in such a way that they also attach onto these seat rails. So the walls of this aircraft, I find pretty interesting. They're not solid like on your commercial. It's like a, a piece of cloth you can actually remove and run wires and run different instrument things and make it a lot easier to modify where your things are on the aircraft. We have a lot of people on the ground collecting science data and they're doing that to compare what we're seeing with our instruments. It's, it's a data comparison type deal. These flight lines are planned so that we specifically fly over wherever the ground truth people are with their instruments and taking their experiments. So flying on the P-3 is really bumpy. So we do a lot of maneuvers that you would never do on a commercial jet. High bank angles, sharp turns, really low flying. The lower you are, the more turbulent it is. So when I'm on a science flight, I'm checking to make sure the instrument's still running and taking data the way I want it to. Everyone's very focused on their instrument. You're constantly checking to make sure that the data's coming in. My job is to make sure that all the instrument operators are looking at their instrument and that they're collecting all the adequate data they need. The best thing that we can get out of SnowX this year one is really to collect a multi-sensor data set over a wide range of conditions. These SnowX science flights are the culmination of two plus years of work. It's really exciting to be a part of something so big.